What's up, everybody? What's up? Anyways, 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 I'm going to tell you a little secret. If you don't watch the live stream, um, when we play GTA or Minecraft, or any game, like the dirt bike game, NASCAR, and whatever other game we come up with, I will not keep an hour and a half, two hour video on my channel anymore. So if you missed the live stream, the live stream might be up from the time it uploads till, till I get up in the morning, then maybe I'll keep it up for a couple more hours after I'm up. If you're lucky, then it gets deleted. The thing is, I'm getting something in the mail. It's been said a few different times when I'm going to get in the mail. Well, I was supposed to get it tomorrow. Well, right now, since we live in the West, even in the past where the mountains are, we're getting snow. How much snow? Couldn't tell you. How much snow is I don't getting right now? Couldn't tell you. How much snow is Montana getting? I don't know. North Dakota? I don't know. Minnesota? Milwaukee, whatever. Whatever it is. Wisconsin, Illinois. I don't know. Um, Michigan? Don't know. Yes, I live, I'm from Michigan. But my sister hasn't said anything about snow. And I don't know anything of past Michigan. As, as of Tuesday, as of Tuesday, my wife ordered it Monday. They started shipping it out Tuesday. Tuesday, no, yeah, Tuesday, mid evening, it was stuck in New York. Um, it's coming out of FedEx with a question mark. So I'm thinking this package is going to go from one dealer's hands to the post office. Because when my wife ordered her uh, cloth, her professional cloth, so when she uh, goes out and sells her merch, her clothes line, her sticker line, her tumbler line, um, she, she all look more professional than just a... Uh, you know, one of them uh, table, uh, plastic tablecloths from her, her work. Yes, they're black or white. I mean, if there's a theme, like Christmas, yes, yeah, she'll get a, a Christmas one. If it's in November, yes, yeah, she'll get a Thanksgiving one. And if it was in, like Halloween right now, she would get a Halloween one. But, um, but just be during. Being for even if it's in July, we can do Fourth of July one. You can do that, but what do you do? Well, I guess January would be Happy New Year one, and February can be Valentine's one. March can be Shamrock one, and April can be something, and May can be something, and June can be something. You can do that. You can just go a regular theme for. You know, you can do the holidays within months, yeah. But May, you got April, May, and June. What do you do for them if you have that kind of stuff? Now, you can't do it every day. I mean, Valentine's Day, every about two or three days away, yeah, you can do Valentine's theme. But you probably get away with not. Doing that, not a lot of people do van times. Oh, you're in school or something, then yeah. But if you're a full grown adult, it'd probably be a different story. Happy New Year, you probably get away with it too, because it's only one day. So, van times, you can get away with March, you probably get away with it. Well, ceramic day is a pretty cool day. I mean, if it's like falling on that three or four day, you can do it. Thanksgiving's a big thing, guys. Um, people celebrate Thanksgiving right after Halloween. So I guess a week before Halloween, you can celebrate stuff because you can decorate your stuff for Halloween. So yeah, if you have a, 
a thing going on, a yard sale, bar fair, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, you can do the whole all of October and November. It's a pretty big thing for Thanksgiving. On the day November 1st hits, I worry about it to the day of Thanksgiving. Then from Thanksgiving all up to Christmas, I worry about it. Um, worry about being the happiest person of our lives. It don't matter how miserable we are. It don't matter if we have bills up the you know what. People, people get gifts. If something has to not be paid, then, well, we'll bear with it in the new year when we get phone calls and we'll explain to them. Like, well, a phone's a want, it's not a need. Um, internet is a want, it's not a need. PlayStation networking is a want, it's not a need. Having a video game system is a want. Not a need. You need a place to live. So you gotta pay taxes on your property. That's a need. You gotta have water. You gotta have electricity. And you gotta have gas or propane. Now, you don't need cable. You really don't. You don't need your cell phone. But it's nice to have a cell phone, but you don't need to go out and spend. Because you gotta have some kind of contact. So, you know. Your house catches on fire. Somebody gets sick. Somebody gets hurt. You gotta be able to call 911. So you gotta have some kind of phone. So a phone, it's a 50-50. It's a want and a need. It's a need, okay? But it's a want when you have a $150 phone, $200 phone, $300 phone, $400 phone. You can go out with a $60 phone, pay a $60 plan, and be happy. The phone I'm on right now it's better than the phone I had two years ago. Okay? So think about that. Just think about that. I guess $70 phone. And about two years ago, I had a $200 phone. And this $60 phone I'm on right now recording is way better than what I used to use. And it's cheaper. The phone is... Four dollars a month, then sixty dollars for the plan. My wife's four dollars a month and sixty dollars for the plan. So, yeah. But only why the phone's so much money, or sixty dollars a month, is I don't know. But I can do. I can tell you this right now: seventy-five megahertz, seventy-five megabytes a second for the internet is silly fast. But the problem is, folks. Um, we pay almost 300 megabytes per second for Comcast. But you gotta understand all the TVs are smart TVs. They're all hooked up to the internet. And all the PlayStations are hooked all up to the internet. Our phones are hooked up to the internet. All the tablets, when they're on, hooked up to the internet. All the laptops are hooked up and plugged in on. It's on the internet. I have a laptop. It has 16 gigs of memory. It has a 4 gig, 4,000 gigabyte hard drive. It's a 15 point, I don't know if it's a 14.7 or 15.7. I always got it wrong. I don't know if it's a 14 or 15, just say. But I think it's a 15. Now, is it a 0.57? Is it just straight 15? I couldn't tell you. But all I know is. Um, Stephanie's, my sister-in-law, she can't run hers is because she has a black screen. But it plugs in. But her plug does not match my plug socket. Hers is almost like the old school radio where you got the circle and square and it plugs in. Mine, just the male into the female. Just a little stick, boom, pokes in. See, that's a lot easier. That's... You know, like on the big power supply, it looks like a big thing like this and goes in to your power supply. What well, hers looks like, but a circle with a square and pushes in. Those are so much stronger than the, just a little rod. Just saying. Just saying. Wink, wink, HP. Um, I don't know what 
Apple's running for their Dell laptops. But I think that's my... I really am not into um, their service. Their phones, I have nothing against their iPhones. It's just their servers. Well, I guess it really matters. Well, they're updating. Matters, I guess it matters who you really go with. Because T-Mobile has their issues. Verizon has their issue. Sprint, I think it's called. They have their issues. Straight Talk, you know, they got their issues. Comcast, they have their issues. And there's a couple other companies. I think Q-Link does something. You know, they have their issues. Then you got all these government phones. Now, they, I don't know if they will go through Verizon, T-Mobile, Sprint, Q-Link, Straight Talk. I don't know. But I've had a government phone for years. But not by choice. You know, I'm sorry that I don't work. I'm sorry I'm trying to figure out my life. I've worked all my life till, you know, an issue came up. Uh, back in 2005. Now, I did a sleep study. And... As I was sleeping or whatever I was doing, I don't remember at all. They gave me medicine because it was like, there's no way I'm going to sleep. <laughs> Not now. 7.30 at night. You, and I told the people, I'm like, you can black the... You can, honestly, you can put a blanket over my face if you want to. And you got no lights. Put me in a dark room in a basement. Put me in here. And I'm not falling asleep. It don't matter how bored I am or not. I'm not falling asleep. So they gave me a pill. Now, they told me in that sleep study, I don't know how long. I got there at 7. I probably didn't get out there until like 11 the next morning. Um, um, my heart stopped beating probably three different times. Not long enough where it would phase me, but it was almost like a blackout for like two seconds or one second or whatever it was. So that got them scared. And well, I'm going to tell you something, folks. It's not hard to find jobs. It really isn't. It's having the people who can work with somebody who can't do a lot of things but can work with, can work really good with people when they want them to work. Say, you tell me what to do and I'll do it. You show me how to do it, I can do it. See, the problem is nobody wants to train people. They think, oh, you're just going to go in there and do it. No. All my jobs, I've opened up a lot of restaurant businesses. What am I, what do I mean by opening up a business? Well, when you get, when you get, into a business, all the plates, all the bowls, all the cups, all the silverware, all have stickers on them. And they're a pain in the butt to get off. Wet or dry, you think it'd be a lot easier wet? No. You're better off trying to peel them off as you come out of the boxes. And the time you're done, you're like, oh, that's, and you think to yourself, oh, that's easy peeling off stickers. Well, that's easy to put them in the tray and wash them a few times. Well, that's not hard. Well, that's not hard to it's, take the stickers off the cups, plates, and bowls. Yeah? That ain't, huh? Let me tell you a little story. It's probably going to be about, in the beginning, you're going to have about 200, 300 plates. Three different sizes, to be exact. So you got 300 plates of the big, medium, small. Then you got your cups. You got three different sizes of cups. 300 of them. Small, medium, and large. Then you got your salad plates. Small, medium, and large. 300 each. And this is just the beginning. And eventually you're going to have to open another 300 in a week or two. Because they want to see how many customers they get the first couple of days. It don't matter if it's Logan's, Applebee's, Red Robin, Olga's Kitchen... 
I, all these different Italian restaurants, all these Red Lobster, don't matter what you are. Outback Steakhouse, if that's still a thing. Long Star, if it's still a thing. Don't matter. Um, I don't even think old kitchens around. There's all kinds of different. There's all kinds of different restaurants I grew up with. All different kinds of restaurants here. Then you got dogs and you got these small things. Now, say this, this is a, a restaurant I opened. Was in my hometown. My my counselor, husband's brother owned part of the business. He owned stock, so they hired me in just because they knew I worked at Lone Star with my sister-in-law and our cousin, and I don't know if it was my cousin's, my cousin's best friend or my sister-in-law's best friend, but we all worked together. My, my sister-in-law was a bartender slash manager. My cousin was the manager of the host, host part and her, I don't like again. I don't know if the best friend was my cousins or my sister in law. They were both friends. They're both they're both good friends. Both of them, almost like best friends for both. Honestly, I don't know if you can have two best friends, but she ran the kitchen, and she was my boss. Her name was Jennifer. Very nice lady. I think I was like 19 at the time. She was like 27, 28. So she was a little older. Very nice lady. Um. You guys probably have an eye on that shirt, don't you? <laughs> I'll show you at the end of the video. Um, anyways, sorry. Um, when we opened up Lone Star very, very back then, um, and it was open for 20 years. So, figure that out. I didn't work there 20 years. But, when I was 14... I opened that place up. Now, my sister-in-law didn't work there then, but it was part of the school program. I was in eighth grade, and I opened up for Colin Arts, and I was doing a college course in eighth grade. And I, and I learned how to cook hamburgers and steaks, french fries, how to make fancy salads, how to make fancy spaghettis and Stuff like that. Now, I didn't learn how to make fancy spaghettis at Lone Star, but at Ogre's Kitchen I did. I was there for two weeks. Only why I was only at Ogre's Kitchen for two weeks is, well, that's what I signed up for. And all they wanted me to learn is how to do a couple, a couple of pastas and a couple of salads, and that was it. And I got credit for it, and it went on to my, my schooling for high school. And I got graded, I got points for it, and I got work points for it. So even in two weeks. Now, same thing when I opened up Lone Star. I was almost 900 of each item. 900 forks, 900 knives, 900 butter knives, 900 three different spoons, three different forks. Um, you had a regular butter knife, then you had a mini butter knife. So figure that out, over 900. Time I opened up Applebee's at the time... In the beginning, it was 300 of every item. The time it was done, it was almost 2,000 of every item. Imagine them, imagine them place. The trays were built thick. We had six different areas where you can have place. Okay? But sometimes I would have to run the plates through so they can even cook. There was never a stopping matter when working at Applebee's. Even if they got a 10, 15 minute, nobody came in, that's, that's called catch up time. Because if you had time to drink something, you have time to work. There, you know, let me tell you a little story. Every day, when I used to go to the bathroom and come back, not just five, six minutes, and it was really killer. You had to really go to the bathroom, but if you just went a regular bathroom, come back, there's four or five different raiders went in, and they come, they they could bust 
from the bus boy or whatever, the host or whatever you want to call him, that is where he's from. They could have brought 15 plates in, time you just went pee. Now, if you're in the bathroom more than six minutes, you might have 40, 50 plates. That's not even counting the cups. Oh, the silver, that's just plates. That's not even ta talking about ice cream bowls, salad bowls. It's just plates, whatever their meal was. Now, salad bowl can even be a pasta bowl. Because now everybody's in pastas. I don't even know them plates. I know about them, but I don't know anything about how depth they are, how big they are. I don't know if they're six inches or seven inches. I don't know if they're two inches, two inches walls or four inches walls or six inch walls. Couldn't tell you, but I can tell you about the dishwashing system. I can tell you about their fryers, their midge, and their boils, all that. I can probably tell you how to put it together too. And how is it all set up too, if we really want to. I can tell you, I can talk about their computer system for Lone Star, and it's still digital. And being early in the 90s, it was still digital. And they had no push button because them things are easy to, to get into. With a key drawer, don't want that. So you always want magnets, just like security doors. That magnet's so strong. This is one you know, one that we couldn't get in the box. And you think by unplugging the box, no, once that magnet connects, that magnet connects. And only what releases the magnet is a turn off switch and it breaks the magnet loose. And when it opens the drawer, they might, when you shut the door, it turns the magnet back on. It's all sensors. But one day, um, we lost power at the store. But they wanted to get the money out because we didn't know how long that was for. Some other reason, a backup generator would not turn on. I turned it over, turned it over, turned it over, checked the gas, checked the gas, checked the spark plug, checked the spark plug, checked the oil, checked the oil, checked the air pressure, checked the air pressure. Um, the only way I'm repaying this and check, 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 is that's what you do at a restaurant. You check, 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 just like if you're a mechanic. Check, 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 if you're working for a computer, check, 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 check. You want to check your work twice or three times or four times or five times. Even when I was washing dishes, if there was a spot, watermark, I went back to went back to The problem is I don't remember the product that you, oh, excuse me, said get back. Check mark, check mark. I don't remember the water remover product. They use for the dishwasher. So if they did, I'd put them in my truck windows and clean them. Now, I think Walmart sells a brand, but I don't know. I have a chart one day. I don't see good up a good luck. Oh, that's the second one. Amen. Anyways, the box broke. And it had not just one little magnet, it had four, one in each corner. And uh, I didn't break it open. Nope, we just went and got a cut off wheel and just cut the top off. I think they cut off the top or they cut the back end because you can really push that up in the back too. I don't know, we got it open by cutting off some, the top or the bottom or the sides, I don't know, or the back. I don't know. But all I know is they wanted to keep the front. And I know the that part and boom i think they cut the back end of it so you can still use it and they just got it fixed but i'm not even for sure yeah go ahead go to lone star nowhere to be found it's ihop now and they're not using the same computer system go ahead go go where at i can tell you somewhere in michigan that's all i can say i can tell you i'm from dearborn heights but it doesn't mean that it was in dearborn heights just letting you know there's nowhere to be existed we're talking 20 years ago, 25 years ago, okay? But yeah, the magnets are strong. The only way you're gonna get into it is being the crap out of it or that. Be right back. So, I got an orange shirt on here. My sweatshirt's right here, guys. See? Eat, sleep, and mine. Minecraft. Our new design. For my brand, eat, you gotta eat, do a little bit of sleeping, and Minecrafting. Cause you know you take naps, when you eat breakfast, you take a little nap, you back up, you mind. And you just repeat yourself all day. 
should say sleep, eat, then mine, but whatever. I mean, it's just uh, a product shirt for right now. It's not the best sticker design. Because, you know, you know how it is. But I can tell you, folks, that shirt was made about a year ago. And it was just being funny. Almost like a gag. Almost being like a gag. And one day I was at a grocery store. And people were like, what'd you buy that at? Like, what do you mean, what did I buy that at? She goes, yeah, where'd you buy that at? I want one. I'm like, oh, do you? I'm like, okay. What color shirt you want? And they're like, what do you mean? What color shirt do I want? I'm like, yeah, what color shirt you want? And what size? I can have one in probably about an hour. What do you mean you have one in about an hour? I'm like, yeah, my wife makes them. What? <laughs> and for a little while, we got customers. And not only she was selling her sock monkeys and stuff and their regular stickers and that, and, you know, that's how that all goes. And we ended up selling one shirt. So one of these shirts is out there somewhere. I don't know where. But it sounds like, I don't know where the guy's from. You know, when people go grocery shopping, if they don't have a big department store, like Target, Walmart, Best Buy. They got to go there. So, anyways, you can be from Roy or Rainier going to Yelm or Oxbury or Lacey. So, we really don't know where the guy's from. We've never seen the guy again. I've seen him one time. I seen him with a shirt on during the summertime one year. He bought a shirt for 15 bucks. No. Pretty cheap. So I'm thinking about something. Someone you guys like to see if you get this far in the video, I appreciate it. Key word for today is love. If I see that in the comments. I know you watched this far. Anyways. She can do tumblers with a bunch of different stuff. You got a fancy design, you can send it over. We could probably put it on your cup. Family photo. You want, we put it on that cup. You can put it on a shirt if you want to. Um, put it on a car window if you want to. It's pretty cool technology. I don't have one of them cups, do I? Not out here, at least. You know? But... We can make that kind of stuff, stickers. Okay. Seattle, because I'm probably living in Washington State. The lines is because that's where I'm from. So, I don't know. Um, but, as of right now, Seattle's in, uh, doing fairly good in their division. So you can't bash that. So yeah. Anyways, I'll let you guys get on to your merry business. Get on with today again, guys. There's something coming in the mail. And I've said it more than once on, on different live streams. But if you guys don't watch live streams, they do get deleted. And that's all I can really say about that. Truthfully. Because I don't want videos up there for three to four, five, six hours. And that because I don't know if there's gonna be many more live streams in a couple of weeks. It might be. We'll see. But again, we'll see what happens. And you can go from there. Hope you guys have a good one. And have a good day. Eat, sleep, and mind. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Minecraft.